Hey guys, welcome to another DIY project. I'm David Zito and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to build a bunk bed for dogs. I'll be using this four x four piece of lumber as the legs for the bed. And I'll use smaller pieces for the frame of the bed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually cut this piece down to size so it's easier to manage. This is an eight foot long four x four. And so I'm gonna cut it into four equal pieces to make the four legs of the bed. For the bed frame, what I'm going to use is this scrap wood that I have left over. It's a little rough along the edges, but I'll trim those off and use what's in the middle. That way I'll have a clean edge. basic layout of what the bottom bunk will look like. What I plan on doing is cutting out notches within the 4x4s so that the bed frame can be embedded into that wood. It's also easy to imagine what the top bunk will look like. Just imagine the bottom bunk elevated two feet above the ground. This weird contraption that I have here is because I don't have a table saw or a router. Uh, so the only way to cut out these notches is to use the only tool I have that can do the job, which is a circular saw. So I measured out where the circular saw should be, and then I'll just ease into the notch. To make sure that I'm at the right depth for the circular saw, I'm going to use these two boards, measure out where the blade touches, and then clamp that down. That way I have the correct depth for the cut of the notch. So today, I'm going to do the final assembly of all of these pieces. What I'm going to use is Gorilla Wood Glue. It sets in about 30 minutes, but I'm going to wait a whole day just so that the glue cures completely. While the glue is curing, I'm going to use this pocket hole jig to drill holes into these to use as slats for the bed. I clamped this down for about 24 hours so that the glue can cure completely. The last thing before staining is to install these slats onto the bed. So the glue holds up, it can definitely keep the dogs up. Next, we're gonna stain this with some wood finish. It's the same one that we used in the floating shelves video. Be sure you have good ventilation and airflow. The fumes from this is not good for you. You don't want to breathe this in. Now that the stain is finally dry, I'm going to apply a fast drying polyurethane 
to protect the coating and to protect the dogs as well. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. There you have it, the doggy bunk bed. It was a fun project to do, I think. Our dogs love it. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more of these projects, please subscribe to keep up with all of the other videos. Until next time.